Hello, Brother Munro here. Welcome back to the Battleship League Division 2 in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today it is going to be the Littorio versus King George V. Now, this is the first time KG5 has uh, had a battle in the tournament. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how she does. Uh, according to the game, the costs are not dissimilar. Um, so it might be a close-ish matchup. Uh, as usual, I will be taking out um, Littorio uh, first. Then I will swap over. Now, we've seen the Torio in action already, um, and she's currently struggling a little bit in the division, so she has everything to prove. Of course, KG5, no points on the board at all yet. So, both ships with, uh, well, Looking to make their mark, as it were. No hits for either ship so far. game absolutely looks just like you'd think a naval combat would be. Hit. Two hits there. And all 100. A little bit of damage to the four deck. This one here. It's just superficial though. But uh, Latorio with the first not the first hit, hit. The first kind of first little bit of damage. It's really the first citadel penetration that is uh, really important. At ten percent accuracy, and we are eighteen kilometers away, so we're starting to get into. In a typical engagement range. And the AI is doing its usual thing of going, no thank you, and starting to move away. I'm quite happy to continue on our present course. No torpedoes to worry about or anything. Even the secondary is getting involved now. Flooding. From an arc here. Bit of uh, steering gear damage as well, a bit more flooding. Yeah, KG5 having trouble scoring hits at all at the moment. I don't know if that's due to the quad turret or the mixed armament, both of which do have penalties um, in Ultimate Admiral. That's just more overpins on the extended bits of the ship. Oh, 
Oh, that might not have been. No, it was. I've built pen, but has caused some flooding and an engine room to go out. Target locked, so she just can't score a hit. Maybe not the fairest outcome in round one. It is still a huge issue that target lock bug. And a ship like KG5 is going to be far more susceptible to it with uh, basically two, two turrets plus one. Now she can't buy it because of all the flooding. I think round one, fairly conclusively, is going to Notorio. fire back again poor poor ship management by the AI um, you know turning away um, not being aggressive and yeah, with that target lock just suffering Flooding hit will do her in, although she's hanging on. Uh, surprisingly well, unfortunately, we've gone down before that. But uh, yeah, that's not gone well. So, we're going to swap. Apologies if you can hear a washing machine in the background. Uh, we're going to swap over. So it's going to be KG5 against Latorio and the game's not letting me launch. I think that is because I have a corrupted design. It's such an annoying bug, that one. That might be because Hood is sitting here. Um, now Hood has fought all of her battles and she's not winning the division, so that should fix it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I can always recreate her later. Uh, but I didn't want to do that before to fix the bug. That's why I was using the HMS fixer. Um, but yeah, hood hood is 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 out. So I think that's that's fine. Right, same battle, but in reverse. Kind of awkward angle that they've started at. The fight really does maneuver well, though. Look at that. close to hmm, maybe even 15 kilometers I think it's best to try and close the gap uh, AI is moving away already All right guns on then oh, they score a hit lucky buggers 
Yeah, this is the problem here. No aiming progress. They're stuck on minus zero. Which I, I'm, sh I'm absolutely sure is not intended design. Uh, and you used to be able to fix it by retargeting there, but sadly you can't anymore. A bit on save, maybe? Ah, save has helped. And then as soon as I fire, I've lost it again. <laughs> Selling away. No hit. I'm only doing this, by the way, because the AI is uh, moving away. Yeah, the Toria is faster, so it can control the engagement. Oh, there we go, finally aimed. Ow! Damn it. They're just getting ac accurate gunnery. I mean, these are not huge hits, but they are enough to uh, cause some damage and stability and cause problems. I mean, Latoria is locked too, by the looks of it. But she's just way luckier. Scoring a hit back. A bit of damage to the secondary tower. Really not doing a lot of damage though. being exceptionally conservative. Well, I think I might pause the recording here and uh, come back if and when something actually happens. Welcome back, uh, not even to uh, later on in round two, but uh, I actually went straight into the AI round, um, which progressed in much the same way. Here. Quite a lot of time has elapsed, the ships have even <laughs> left the uh, skybox, so their their text is a little funny. Um, Iltoria has fired all of its AP ammunition. Uh, KG-5 has fired all of its AP ammunition and both ships are still folk but Latorio is pretty much fine so um, with that I'm going to say that Latorio has won this match um, not with a three point victory but with a two point victory for sure um, and KG-5 yeah has struggled um, it'll be interesting to see how she does 
in future ones, uh, future matchups. But uh, in this one, just not able to land hits, so never really got to see what her guns were actually capable of because she just had such trouble actually landing landing rounds on target compared to the Latorio. Anyway, um, I, I had, well, and of course, when I was controlling, I never, was never able to get close enough. The, the Latorio is too fast and was able to uh, keep KG-5 at bay um, and use her bit of long-range accuracy. Um, so, an interesting one, and uh, I hope I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.